Okay, so in my last video, I was able to create a search button. So if you put Larry, it's like, hey, Larry, it's okay. Hello, getting the time from the server, right? So the code's pretty boring here. Basically, what we're doing is getting it from the form and just passing it straight back. So what we want to pass it to the server to have it kind of do something, right? So how do we pass the name to the server as a parameter, URL parameter? Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. So all we need to do is, if we want to do it through the URL, we just create a name here, then equal, and all we need to do is just concatenate what's being passed in. Yeah, right. So uh, once we do that, then we need we can get rid of all this then we can just have the full message be coming from the um, from the server right here like this okay so here in the controller the csi let's put in some serious lo uh, silly logic here so we'll go string title is equal to boss right so if your your name is dave then you're the boss if not you're just uh, friend right so name doesn't equal to Dave then we're gonna set the title equal to friend all right so uh, now we can concatenate on the C sharp side of things, right? Hello, title, uh, title, and then the name, right? That was passed in. Okay, so uh, now we, all we need to do is just run this and see what happens here. So if we put in Mike, it says, hello friend, Mike from server, right? If I put Dave, now it changes to hello boss. So again, you can see, put a breakpoint right here, and we can see from um, our, uh, you can indeed see it's being passed in through the URL here. And you can also um, see in the um, client sign, if you go to network, you hit this button, you can see this call here with the parameter with Dave you click here and you can see the query string parameter right so uh, for the next episode I'm going to show you how to pass an object not just a uh, through the URL all right